Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be doing a highly anticipated video today as I promised you guys. I talked about this so long ago on my channel and asked if you guys wanted to see it. Y'all say yes. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the House of Siage signature collection. Yes, the entire collection. So if you are on the hunt for a signature scent, if you were looking to blind buy one of these fragrances, this is the best video for you to be watching so that you can get an opinion on these fragrances from someone who has smelled them and can tell you all about the notes, give you a real person's opinion versus just reading it online and see which one is most suited for you. As you see here on my aroma bar, I have a very special guest in the house today. <laughs> this is my baby from the beautiful house of Siage. Can we just take a moment to talk about this packaging? Like, so. Now, if you have ever been to a really nice bakery or something and you've gotten a nice gourmet cupcake, you would recognize this presentation because gourmet cupcakes come in packages like this. This is my baby. Um, I just wanted to show her to you. I'm not going to talk much about her because I will get to discuss how I feel about her when I talk about all of the scents in the signature collection. When you get your cupcake, it also comes with a little cloth for you to wipe it off to keep it clean because it does kind of have like a mirror type of thing on the top. I'm going to show you guys a little closer. So this right here is my baby. She is so beautiful. Um, each of the cupcakes are adorned with 158 hand-placed Swarovski crystals. Truly a beauty, like, oh my goodness. And then on the top, it just says, it'll say the name of whichever specific fragrance you have. And then along the trim here, it says House of Siage. I don't think you guys can really see that. There you go, House of Siage. And then there are more crystals all along the trim. So the retail value of these cupcakes is $360. However, they're always having like flash sales and things like that. So you can almost always catch it at 50% off and it would only be 180. As I mentioned, aside from each of them all having the Swarovski crystals, they also all are between 20 and 30% oil, which is wonderful for people who love a good sillage. I mean, it's in the name, House of Sillage. If you don't know, a sillage is basically a fancy word for the scent trail that you leave. So when you walk away and your smell still lingers, that's your sillage. So on the back of this discovery kit, it actually um, has the name of each of the fragrances and I wish that they would put the notes on the back. They don't. It just talks about the genetic makeup of it, like how much alcohol and things like that. However, it does tell you how much oil is in each of them. So some say 20, some say 25, and there's one that is 30. So as I'm going through them, I will tell you which ones um, have what percentage of oil. So let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. This is the discovery kit and you open it like this. I've had this for a little bit of time. I bought this when I bought this one. I did smell all of these when I first got it, but I'm being completely honest. I literally don't remember like Y'all know 2020 was a blur. It still feels like we're in 2020. So I don't even remember what I wore yesterday, let alone what these smelled like back in November, December. So this is my first impression for the second time. Over here, I have these little sticky notes. I did pre-label them in order of which one I'm gonna be doing just so that um, you can't read what it says, but just so that I will be able to remember which one I sprayed on what and I can go back and reference. So the first one that we're gonna be smelling today is called Emerald Rain. It's a, it's a sample sprayer, you don't need to see that. I bought these little transparent sticky notes and I'm gonna be using them as my spray sheets. Is that ghetto? All right, so let's go ahead and spray this one first. I hope it'll even be able to absorb the smell enough for me. Oh, I can definitely smell it. Hmm. The first thing I smell is like nutmeg. Is that nutmeg? It's, hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of this one so far. Let me give it a little second to dry. It just smells very mature and not in a good way. <laughs> this smells like something my grandmother would wear. And it's kind of giving me like Vicks. 
like you remember the Vicks you put on when you have a cold or something? I don't know, this isn't my cup of tea. I'm gonna pull up the notes on my computer, that's why I have it here, so that I can see what else is in it. All right, so the top notes in the Emerald Rain, let me grab this again. The top note is nutmeg and cardamom oil. The heart note is violet leaves and sandalwood, and the base note is patchouli. Mm, I can see that now, and benzoin. I can get the patchouli. Sometimes people say patchouli is kind of like a dirty type of smell. Not, dirty is the wrong word, but I don't really know how else to describe it. But I, I like patchouli usually. It depends on the scent. It also depends on what it what else it is mixed with, but yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. Mm. I'll give it a three out of 10. I wouldn't buy that. Next, keep it moving. So I'm gonna take out the next one. The next sheet that I have, it's pre-labeled, says benevolence. Don't know if you can see that. Whoa. This reminds me of Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah, this is definitely giving Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I'm getting Love Don't Be Shy, but with more vanilla. I'm getting Orange Blossom. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think Orange Blossom is also in um, Love Don't Be Shy. Definitely giving Gourmand. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed my Love Don't Be Shy and actually even looking at it, the juice is almost like the same color. It's kind of like that golden, can you see? Like right through there, you can kind of see it. But yeah, the juice is almost even the same color. Mm, I'll do a finger. I don't spray a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'll say that the Love Don't Be Shy is definitely more potent. It's more, I feel like Benevolence is like a little bit of a softer version of Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah, wow. They could definitely be like fraternal twins, first cousins, something like that. Okay, I like that. I like Benevolence. And I, I like Benevolence because I like Love Don't Be Shy, but almost, I don't know. Do I like it better? Hmm, it's a little weird. So in Benevolence, the top note is almond oil, the almond oil and bergamot. The heart note is orange blossom and jasmine. The base note is vanilla and sugar. So yeah, I definitely can understand why it's like along the same lines as Love Don't Be Shy in my opinion. So that definitely makes sense. Cause I love Love Don't Be Shy. It's almost like Love Don't Be Shy is actually drowning this out. I don't even smell this anymore. Like when I go back to smell, maybe it's because they smell so similar that it's like I'm smelling the same thing, but I don't even smell that. Let me try this on the other pinky. A little came out. Okay. Now I can see more of a difference when I when it's like on the skin. Benevolence is giving a little bit more of a medicinal type of smell. And Love Don't Be Shy is a little bit sweeter so i definitely still like love don't be shy better than i like benevolence i would give this i give it a seven out of ten had i never smelled love don't be shy it probably would be a step up but comparing the two i think it's it's a good seven out of ten i'll give it a seven moving on so next we have tiara okay let's go ahead and spray this one remember liking Tierra, but I'm not feeling this. Okay, maybe I need to give it a little more time to dry down. And also because I think I smelled this one the first time on my hand. Okay, it's a little bit nicer. It's it's powdery for sure. I like powdery scents. Y'all know I like that fresh and clean. I feel like powder is like a soft, fresh and clean type of smell. Yeah, that's all I'm really getting out of this is like powder. <laughs> It's it's nice. It's definitely not sexy, not date night, not heavy hitter at all. 
um it's just nice okay so the top note is tangerine and cinnamon the heart note is rose oil and peony love peony and the base is vanilla and musk now reading this i i would think that i would like it more than i do and i remember liking it more than this i am confusion so i am confusion yeah it's nice but that's it i probably wear this to like to church something like a place that's very mild like it's not an offensive scent it's kind of just very go with the flow definitely not like a staple not like a, oh my god i need this in my collection but it's nice i would say i'll also give that one a seven out of ten okay so next we have holiday now this one um i'm actually really excited i don't remember anything about this one but um the name just sounds really exciting and i'm kind of interested to see what this is gonna smell like so Okay. <laughs> At first it almost kind of smells like a, a man's cologne. It's, it's pretty strong. Definitely like orange or like very citrusy. I'm getting orange. Okay. As it settles, it's nicer. Hmm. I actually kind of like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. I like this. I like this. Okay, let's see what's in holiday. So let me read the inspiration. It says, blissful holiday magic emanates from this year-round citrus. What did I say? Citrus fragrance that brings a clean and lively feeling. An orchestra of Egyptian jasmine and Haitian vetiver. Ooh. Paired with coral or corral notes <laughs> of... Virginian cedar oil encapsulates the magnificent emotions of, of excitement and joy. This dazzling fragrance sparkles with refreshing notes of peach, rose, and mandarin to invigorate your senses. Oh my gosh, that is the perfect description. That is beautiful. Top notes are mandarin and orange. The heart notes are peach and rose, and the base note is vetiver and Virginian cedar. I, I like that. I love this. This is really pretty. It was very overbearing when I first sprayed it, but baby, that dry down. I like that. See, I thought when I saw this a while ago, I just remember liking Tiara and I don't remember liking Holiday, but I don't think I actually sprayed this on something. I like that. Holiday, you getting a, you're getting a nine and a half out of 10. I don't know why they named this Holiday, I would think it would be something for like the winter, but honestly, I think this is a beautiful summer scent. I would wear the heck out of this in the summertime. That is so pretty, so citrusy. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's on my list. I'm definitely buying that. That is so freaking pretty. Don't really care for the bottle. Looks a little childish, but the smell, it's all about the juice, baby. Oh shoot, I haven't even been reading you guys the um, how much oil is in it. So. And the first one, an Emerald Rain, it is 20% oil. Benevolence is 20. Tiara is 20. And Holiday is 20. So every everyone that I've already reviewed has been 20% oil. Yeah. All right, so next up is Passion de l'Amour. I remember hearing so many things about this. And I think my mom liked this one. And there was some note in this that really stood out to me when I first smelled it. I don't even know if it's in it, but I just remember like, cause I, I, I tested these out when I first got them cause I was just so anxious to smell them. And I remember smelling this one and I was like, something just hit me in the face. I, but like, I don't know, let's see. I had super high expectations for this one because everybody in the fragrance world loves this so much. So let me see what all the hype is about because apparently my, my initial reaction versus what I'm smelling right now is totally different. So let's see. Oh yeah, it's oud, oud. Oud is so heavy in this. I can smell it immediately. That That is what it was that I smelled the last time. Definitely oud. I can bet you any amount of money there's oud in this. That's all I smell. <laughs> oud is so 
so overpowering. Like I literally, all I smell is oud. Okay, Zoe, let's let's really open your senses and see what else you. Yeah, nothing else in this really smells familiar. This is definitely for those women who like a heavy hitter, who like something um, very deep, very sexy, smoldering. I don't think I liked this one the first time I smelled it because of the oud presence, but it's nice. It's very sexy. This is definitely, definitely not an everyday scent. This is what you pull out. I will wear this to an office Christmas party. This would be great in the fall and winter because it is such a heavy, smoldering, deep, sexy type of scent. Yeah, this is nice. My, I could see why my mom would like this. She loves like the heavy hitter scents for sure. So let's see what's in Passion de l'Amour. Okay, top notes are saffron and raspberry. Heart notes are caramel and amorous oil. And the base note is oud and Leatrix Absolute. So yeah, no, <laughs> I wouldn't have picked up on any of those other scents, but that oud, I def I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew I smelled oud. I told y'all niggas, I told y'all niggas. Y'all thought I was playing, but I told y'all. If you want to be on your grown woman, if you want people around you to put some respect on your name and know that you are not one to mess with, this is it. This is it. Yeah, that's it's nice. I would give this, I don't know how eager I would be to have this in my collection because y'all know I like the soft, feminine, fresh and clean type of smells, but I would buy it. I would give this an eight out of 10. And Passion de l'Amour is 30% oil. So that means this one is going to, it's gonna hit. <laughs> And it actually has the most amount of oil out of any of the fragrances. So yeah, that's in addition to the notes itself being like very potent and heavy, the oil concentration is gonna make it last that much longer and be that much more of a statement. All right, next we have Cheval d'Or. I think that's how you say it, d'Or? Cheval d'Or. I don't know, I'm not French, y'all. Okay, I gotta give that a second and dry. Yep, it's gotta dry a little bit. I immediately smell rose. Very floral. Oh yeah, this this needs a second to dry. I shouldn't have done two squirts. I didn't mean to, but the first time it didn't really like come all the way out, so I had to spray it again. Okay, this is very soft and feminine. Um, a little clean, heavy on the floral, heavy on the floral. If you like floral scents, you'd probably like this. There there has to be rose in this. I definitely smell rose immediately. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very soft and pretty. It's like, it's like at first you smell floral and then it, like the ending of it is kind of soapy. And that's the part I like. Cause I'm not a big floral girl, but I am. I love fresh and clean soap effortlessly smelling good. It's kind of, it's not anything like super, super impressive. It's a, it's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> those are like polar opposites. How is it not impressive and it's beautiful? Get it together, Zoe. Okay, it's just not impressive to me because I'm not a big floral fan. It's just like a traditional woman type of scent like a, a very feminine woman. It's pretty, it's soft, it's it's delicate. That's the perfect word for it. It's a delicate feminine scent. Very pretty, perfect for the spring and summer. Um, I'd give this a six and a half out of 10. So let's see what um, notes are in this one. Top note is wild strawberries. That's different. Magnolia. Um, the heart note is black rose and Turkish rose. I told y'all, niggas. I knew I smelled rose. And it's it's two different types of rose. That's why it has such a heavy presence and it's right in the heart of the fragrance. And then the base is vanilla and sandalwood. I don't get any vanilla at all. Okay, see the more I let it sit, it is a little bit prettier. I'll bump this up to a seven. And now I can get a little, bit, a little bit of that strawberry, that wild strawberry. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty, delicate scent. I do like the soapy finish on it. I think that one, that makes it like 
my speed. <laughs> this next one is another one that I'm super excited about because I remember this one has the most beautiful, oops, this one has the most beautiful bottle in my opinion. Um, I remember when I was looking online because I actually blind bought this one. So um, I, I was like, how the heck am I gonna choose? And based on the description, I thought that I would get Tiara because I love vanilla and musk together and like peony is actually my favorite flower. So I just, I really thought I was gonna like Tiara, but I was like, eh, I don't know, like whatever. And I was trying to choose something that was different from anything else that I had. I didn't want to blind buy something and it smelled like something I already own. So I decided on this one, which we'll get to when we get to it. <laughs> but I was really tempted to get this one because I've heard so many positive reviews about it and because the bottle was so dang pretty. And that is none other than Haute's Bijou. So let's go ahead and spray this one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. You know what? This this smells like Delina. And y'all know Delina is my number one favorite perfume on this planet. Oh my gosh, this is this smells like Delina. Why have I not heard anyone say that? I've heard so many people rave about Haute Bijou, but I've never heard anyone say it smells like Delina. Why you lie? All right, we gotta do a comparison. Y'all know, hold on, let me go get Delina. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back with my baby. So, uh, I sprayed those fingers. So I'll do my first fingers, okay. Mm, never gets old. Now let's do the other finger. Oh yeah. Delina's still winning y'all. <laughs> Delina is always gonna win. Now this one, it smells a little like more a little spicier than Delina. Yeah, Delina's definitely softer, but they do, they're very similar. Maybe this is more like Delina Exclusive because the Exclusive has oud in it and this kind of smells a little more oudy. I don't know if oud is, a, maybe even like, is that like grapefruit or something? I don't know, like, yeah, it smells more like Exclusive than it does Delina. Yeah, no, sorry, baby. You you in a league of your own, honey. I'm good. No, I, babe, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have even done it. You can't compete where you don't compare. I get it, I get it. Won't happen again. It, I said it won't happen again. This one. Okay, so let's see what's in this one. Top notes are grapefruit and mango. Okay, I thought that I was picking up some grapefruit. I wasn't quite sure. Heart notes are iris and caro, carunde, caro, carunde. I'm gonna put it at the bottom because I don't know how the heck you say that. And the base notes are heliotrope and amber. Yeah, it's nice, it's really pretty. It's definitely a pretty one. Now, if you wanted Delina or Delina Exclusive, but you don't wanna pay 300 some odd dollars, I think it's 320 for the original, 340 for the Exclusive, or it might be 340, 360, I don't know. But I know it's like a $20 difference. This would be a nice filler until you can get there. And like I said, this is the prettiest bottle in my opinion that um, House of Siage has. Okay, I'll give that a, I would give that a nine out of 10. Okay, the next one is Nue Moi. Nue Moi. <laughs> that was a little high, I didn't mean to spray it way up there. Okay. Oh God. Ooh, I immediately spell pepper. First thing I smell is pepper. I know this, it has to have pepper in it. Oh, it was giving like cologne vibes at first. Okay, it's settling. I'm getting maybe some patchouli. It's kind of giving that, that kind of smell, that Vixy smell that I was saying about Emerald Rain in the beginning. But at first I get pepper. Now I'm not getting pepper so much. I'm getting patchouli. 
Okay, top notes are peppercorn and cardamom oil. Heart notes are rose oil and jasmine. I don't even peep it in jasmine. And base notes are patchouli and musk. How could musk slip by my nose? I got the patchouli, but I didn't. I'm not getting musk. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not like crazy about that one. I give that five out of 10. And let's do a oil check test. So I think the last one I reported the oil concentration on was Passion de l'Amour. So Chabot d'Or is 20% oil. Holtz Bijou is 25% oil. And Noue Moi, Noue Moi, the one that I just uh, smelled was 20% oil. Next we have my baby. This is the one that I own right here. And it is Cherry. It's Cherry Garden. <laughs> I already know what this one smells like because I wear this one a lot. You can see I put a nice little dent in it. Mm, so pretty. Oh, that one's really nice. Love Cherry Garden. Oh, she's so pretty. Soft, feminine, definitely. A, this is so perfect for the spring. And I mentioned this one in my um, top five niche. And I talked about like my five most unique fragrances, like fragrances I didn't feel like could really be duplicated. And I'm so glad that I blind bought this one rather than one of the ones that I compared to something else. Like Benevolence and Haute's Bijou are two that are very, very popular. So if I listened to everyone's reviews and got those, I would have been kind of upset because they smell similar to something else that I already own. And of course, like when I was reading the notes in this, I saw that there was musk in the base. There's, I think, uh, jasmine in it and yeah it's it's so pretty and i mentioned um in the niche video that this is not anything like like lost cherry like a lot of people compared it to lost cherry i don't know why they did that because this smells nothing like it in my opinion i think lost cherry smells more like an edible cherry whereas this one is more like like an actual cherry garden like just like it says like cherry blossoms or like that, that's immediately what I thought of when I, I just picture myself walking in Japan like through the Japanese cherry blossoms like that's what this smells like it smells like spring has sprung honey perfect spring scent could definitely work for summer as well but this just is like such a beautiful transitional fragrance into the spring season very feminine very girly very soft very pretty very very pretty I love that one I would give it a I give it a nine out of ten the last one is another very popular one. It is Love is in the Air. The ones that I've heard the most raving about in fragrance reviews has been Benevolence, Passion de l'Amour, Haute's Bijou, and this one here, which is Love is in the Air. So let's see what the hype is about. Now I've heard this one being compared to Baccarat. I'm not really getting that. Almost kind of smells like apple. Let me let this dry a little bit more. I'm getting a little musk. It's kind of powdery in the end. I don't know. It's not close enough to the smell of Baccarat to me. I'm getting powder and musk. It's pretty. It's soft. It's, it's lovely. Love is in the air. Lovely. It, it is. It's a nice pretty this would be nice for like a like an informal date night not your anniversary not valentine's day but like if you have like a, a date night you have once a month this would be nice to pop on that's gonna make him like damn baby smell good okay so the top notes we have plum and blackcurrant maybe the plum the fruit type of smell. maybe that's what i was thinking was that apple kind of smell i don't know what i was getting <laughs> Heart notes are jasmine and cedarwood. Base notes are patchouli and musk. Very rarely is musk not identified by the musk queen, okay? <laughs> so I got that one too. Yeah, it's it's nice. I will give this a seven out of 10. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Baccarat just so that I can do a comparison for the sake of the video because that's what everyone was saying. So let's see if I can see it. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one on the wrist this time. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, what? This smells nothing like Baccarat. Baccarat is beautiful. Uh, it's Baccarat. This I'm not feeling. I actually liked it better on the little sheet than I do on my skin. Could just be my body chemistry. Now I'm getting more of the plum. I'm not really a fan. Yeah, what? I am so confused. How the heck does this smell like Baccarat to you guys? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I'll give that one a six out of 10. Six and a half, maybe. Okay, wait. Now I'm kind of getting the Baccarat. Hold on. Okay, I take that back. I do see what you mean with the Baccarat. Now, if I didn't smell it next to Baccarat, it could be, yeah, it's it's like a more powdery version of Baccarat. I can see that. Wow, it, it changed completely after I gave it some time to settle. Still not on the level of Baccarat, honey, but it's nicer. Okay, I will give that one a seven out of 10. Sometimes you gotta be patient with these fragrances, <laughs> I'm telling you. I think the last one I left off on for the oils was Nuit Moi, and that one was 20%. Cherry Garden is 25%, and Love is in the Air is also 25% oil. Okay, you guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this experience with me. I had lots of fun smelling all of these new fragrances. Feel free to leave a comment of which of the House of Siash cupcakes is your favorite or which one you're interested in buying. If I helped you at all make that decision, I would love to know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys as always, and I will see you in my next video.